Hi, Gemini. How are you? I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot, and this is your reading for March 2020. And I don't want to be negative, but I do have to say a little bit about this reading when I see this reading. Our readings are always so informative, different. We are different. I know we are, um, because we get misunderstood half the time. Because we stand for clarity, honesty, wisdom, um, we also um, are misinterpreted. They're, they, People think, or readers think, that we are cool people. We are called, like the Queen of uh, Swords, she's called the Ice Queen and the Widow. Well, I'm sure that all the Geminis out there disagree. We are not ice queens or ice kings, and we certainly um, are not all widows or widowers. So, um, and then my argument is also the sword. The sword stands for wisdom, clarity, honesty, justice. It also stands for communication. We are the, the zodiac sign of communication. We're the best at communication. We also have the best of two worlds. We can see one side and the other side of the coin. Also, we use our thoughts. We have, we gather information before we judge. Um, and we want clarity before we make a break. Once we break, it's usually permanent. And I do take my hat off to anybody and I give them a lot of respect if you do reconcile. We do try to reconcile before we break up. But it takes two to tango. And sometimes the other half does not want to work with us or listen to us. But we mean it in love and in good faith. So, you know, you, you can re reconcile but it takes two to tango. And we need to have faith and honesty and clarity. And it, all that also takes two to tango. I think it was Aries that had heart-to-heart -heart conversations. That is what you should do in a relationship. Let each other know how you feel. How's your day been? What can you change in the relationship to keep it fresh and exciting? Even if you've been with each other for 10 or 15 or 25 years, you, you should become soulmates. You can meet a soulmate, but a lot of people take it out of its proportion. A soulmate is somebody that you might have known before. A soulmate might be that you have become a soulmate because you are one. You feel one, you think like one, and you love, respect um, each other and you're true to each other and loyal. Okay, that said, welcome if you're a new viewer and please subscribe and um, hit the bell. And then you know when I go live or when new videos is loaded up. Um, if you see a white circle with an eye in it, then click on that, it will take you to the website. And um, there is a new website up in the air charliesangeltarot.com and there you can see information, reviews, different readings on offer and also updates. I hope to start the life coach side of my uh, career. That is what I want to do. Uh, work with people with whiplash or with unseen uh, disabilities. So uh, um, that is um, still all in the planning stage, but the tarot side and the spiritual side is more or less done. <clears throat> so go and have a look. I also do reviews for publishers and I love doing them. So I'm lovely and busy. And if you would like to join me or us in the live session every night, then you're more than welcome. And thank you very much to my cyber angels or cyber babes. Uh, for coming back and, and supporting the channel. Without you, I couldn't do it. 
We are one big cyber happy family. We have humor, we have discussions, we have, it's every night it's different. So Gemini, come in and join in. You are a humorous lot. Show the rest of the world what we are and what we're made of. We have fun, especially Geminis with Gemini. I'm a Gemini and I do have a lot of fun with also non-Geminis. I have special connections with a lot of my viewers I, that need help. It started out with help, but they've become friends. Okay, let's get started. Um, Gemini, the first card that you have for the 20... Oh, so not, uh, that's the general. Your generals are out as well, so go and have a look at your general reading. This is your first card for the first week in March, and you've got reconciliation. Someone from the past is returning to your life. So that is what I'm saying. It doesn't have to mean uh, reconciliation, I think, uh, in relationship, but perhaps they're coming back and want to be friends. And that is a good thing if you can do that, because if you do have children from a past relationship or a marriage, then it's only beneficial to the kids. And that is what I would, con uh, I would uh, consider as a reconciliation, because you might already be, be hooked up with somebody new. So don't take it literally, okay? Um, and like I said, Geminis, once they finish, they are usually finished. But I take my hat off and have an enormous respect for those that do get back together again. Because it takes courage, it takes faith, and it takes uh, determination and loyalty. The card that is describing the card or confirming the card of reconciliation is the anchor. Yes, the answer is definitely yes. You're coming home to a safe haven. That is what this card means. And you are staying there. So if you're going to reconcile, yes, it's fine. It's okay. <clears throat> but like I said, excuse me, it takes determination, faith, trust and loyalty. Old patterns have to be dropped. And both of you have to realize that this will be different. Uh, <clears throat> this will be different the second time around. And you must also realize why did you get separated so that the past cannot repeat itself. Learn from the past. Sorry guys, I've got a frog in my throat. Okay, girls. In the second week, we have honeymoon. So if you are going to get re, uh, re reconciled, you might take some time out and go on a small trip. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of a holiday time together. Okay, it might take, uh, you might take time out to see whether it works if you are together or whether the old issues come back without being, the, without the kids, so that it is like a honeymoon or even with the kids, perhaps the kids are an issue. It is worthwhile trying out to enjoy to see whether you do fit with each other. You've got the key in your own hand. Yes, uh, you've got the anchor and you've got the answer. Yes, sir, I don't know what your question is because this is a general reading. Then I would have to do a private reading. And you are in a safe haven. You do know each other. And that is why you can feel safe because you know what the past was like. And what you don't know is what the present and the future holds. That is up to you to change. You can change that by making the right decision. Are you going to let them come back? Are you not going to let them come back? You can open the door or close the door, Gems. Okay, you are in the power at this moment. If they are the ones that want to come back, 
then you are in a stronger position because you can say yes or no. It could be your soulmate, but a lot of people do misunderstand the word soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. It could be your soulmate, but remember, I'm not being pessimistic. I'm being very blunt and very uh, honest about this. And this is the way I see it and read it. Okay. You might be soulmates, but remember, soulmates, uh, well, if let's say in a past life, uh, you were together and you were soulmates then as well, something might have happened and you couldn't say goodbye or uh, you didn't finish your relationship. So it might have happened uh, instantaneously, unexpectedly, and they have come back into your life to finish this journey of their karma. That's perhaps an, an, uh, something to consider uh, taking somebody back. Perhaps they've come back because uh, they have to finish something in this lifetime to be able to carry on spiritually uh, the rest of their life. Perhaps you might, they might stick around, but perhaps it's also a spiritual journey that has to be settled um, so that you can carry on with the earthly life. You, you know, we've got our spiritual life, our us inside, our character, our soul, and our past lives and answers, ancestors. That is what we are made of. So perhaps this is a past ancestor or a partner that's coming back. And, you know, it, it is difficult, but we've also, once you separate, then you might have moved on and already got hooked up with somebody else. So it's your decision, my darling. And soulmates aren't only partners, but they could also be best friends. It's, it depends how you believe or what you believe. I believe that we do have soulmates and you could have more than one soulmate. It could be a best friend, it could be your, your, your partner, it could be your child even. It could be uh, uh, your school teacher that you connect in such a spiritual way that you were bonded in a past life and your soul recognize that spirit. And that is why you feel like soulmates. And that is how it feels to me. I wonder what you think and how you think. So let me know in the reactions below this video. Coming back to the romance reading, yes, you might be soulmates, you might know what the other knows and wants and how it works. Great stuff. The Geminis do stand for soulmates in the tarot cards, the lovers. Okay. And uh, we've got the fish here. The fish means luck in business, luck at work. You can work well in groups and, um, uh, yeah, know your boundaries. As fish in the water, there's no boundaries. So in this romance reading, it would relate to your boundaries. Know what you want and know how far you can go and let the other person definitely know how far they can go and what your boundaries are. A no is a no, and that's the shortest sentence in the world. So set your boundaries, okay? Set your boundaries. If somebody's coming back, although they are your soulmate, let them know what the boundaries are because you do not want a repetition uh, of the past if you are going to get together, if you do open that door to a partnership for the future and present. Okay, like I said, it could if you are hooked up, it could become a family friend and it is very, very positive for children if you have children. In the fourth week, you have playfulness well, Gemini, if anybody can play, you can do it the best. Huh. You are humorous. You are funny. You're as sharp as a knife, literally, as the sword. 
You can come out with things that are, other people wouldn't even dream of saying, which are funny. Um, you're right on the ball. You can let your inner child come out. Be playful. Don't be too serious. Um, seriousness makes Jack a dull boy. That's the saying in English. So let your inner child and youthful spirit uh, of fun shine. Be the beacon, Gemini. You are the beacon and you are also an example uh, for a lot of other people. And that's why, usually why you are misunderstood. Because a lot of people would like to be a multitasker and they can't. Then we are... Once we fall in love, we fall in love, hook, line and sinker. We give our all and we'll go through hell and back to make it work. But if it doesn't work, then it is the sword. It will cut. The door closes. Okay. Now, in the fourth week, we do have the whip. We do have the whip. And by this reading... With this whip, this means disagreements and arguments. Perhaps the old habits will be coming back and you're done with it. So remember, it could be in the first week, could be in the second week, but it's lying in the fourth week. Yeah. Old patterns are hard to die. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. So if you don't want arguments, then close the door. If you want peace and quiet, close the door. If you want arguments and, and disagreements all the time and you can cope with the old habits, doesn't matter who argues, you or them, then open the door and be reconciled. But you will be hurting yourself and the other person because all I'm saying is ask yourself the question, why did I get separated in the first place? Now, we Geminis are very positive most of the time, and look what is here. Give it a, give it a chance, if you like. Uh, I hope you will. But protect yourself. Remain positive. Now, we've got the Archangel Michael card, and it says here, Withdraw. I did not sort out these cards, believe me. No longer fun walk away and this is I'm getting cold it's icy cold here this is the angels giving me the message be careful it's a warning this is what I'm saying you walked away once before so that is why I'm hammering on that question ask yourself why did it break up the first time round Archangel Michael asks you to detach from the drama. Boom, arguments. Associated with a particular situation. The time has come to withdraw and walk away. So, I'm only the messenger, so don't shoot me. Okay, this sword is presented symbolically to you by Archangel Michael as a call for definite, definitive action. You have been asking the angel for guidance and assistance with a situation in your life. You have questioned yourself over and over again as to which course of action you need to take. You have been feeling like you are frozen in time, ungrounded and fearful, which has prevented you from making choices and moving forward in a new direction. Wow. This reading is mind-blowing. Archangel Michael responds here to you, your uncertainties and bewilderment regarding this ongoing saga and advises you to walk away. Archangel Michael understands that this is one of the most difficult courses of action to take and he doesn't deliver this advice lightly. He understands that you're, you feel stuck in a situation and that fear can be an insurmountable emotion. Archangel Michael advises you to withdraw for short periods of time. Effective 
effectively giving yourself time out to feel more peaceful and regain your inner strength. Archangel Michael and his band of angels will work with all parties involved to bring about the best possible resolution to this situation for all. If you are if you do decide to walk completely away from the situation or relationship, Archangel Michael will walk with you, giving you courage and strength. The alternative meanings could be end of a contract, marriage contract, fresh start, medi meditate, exercise, walk in fresh air, new directions, new job, new relationship. Ending necessary for a new beginning. Don't get involved with drama. Not related to you. Make a choice. Make a decision. Alter your thinking about a situation. Resolution. Acceptance. Solitude brings an infamy. Alter your expectations. That is what I said. Remember. It will never be the same. It will be different. It will be hard work. And don't expect anything. It, don't expect it to be the same. Peace, relief, self-love is needed here. Reinvention of yourself perhaps as well. Both parties will have to adapt and change in order to make it work. And there must be trust, loyalty, clarity, and honesty. You have the Moth, Moth Angel Feather and the Moth Angel Feather is courage and faith. Yes, you will have to have courage and faith. It will take a lot of energy out of you because it means big time work and it will not happen over one night. The Moth Angel Feather, Courage and Faith, the angels are present and call upon you to be courageous. Draw on and trust your deep faith, spiritual beliefs and the angels to and ask your angels to assist you at this time. The Moth Angel Feather is presented to you as a symbol of courage. The colour Moth is a mixture of light blue and mid purple, indigo. This is the time in your life that calls on your innermost courage and strength. The angels ask that you remember the solution is never at the level of the problem. The answer is always love, which is beyond all problems, no matter how huge they seem. Ask the angels to surround you and your present worry, problem, situation or trauma with the universe's beautiful healing and awesome love. Trust and have faith that love can create a world that is healed and holy. The affirmations that you can use is I'm courageous. I have deep faith and support of the angels at all times. Other symbols of Moth is cooperation, spiritual enlightenment, religious faith, modesty, self-confidence, psychic ability or gifts. So listen to your intuition. Moth crystals that you can carry with you to heal you, to detox you and to make you uh, less stressed is lipidilolite and concites. So the angels associated with this is Servial Angel Servial, Angel of Golden Light, gives courage. Angel Machildil, Angel of Courage and Protection, and Angel Uziel, Angel of Faith, Mother's Angel. You can wear moth, you can eat purple grapes, that is also a mothy colour. You can meditate on the Moth Gemini, and I think this is a wake up call for some of us, if not all of us. Um, just remember protect yourself, believe in yourself, 
stand in your strength and remember act in purity and in love love and patience is like the card in the tarot the lion the lion was tamed uh, by the woman with patience and love it will need a lot of endurance and hard work from both parties if you are going to reconcile uh, if you are going to reconcile I give you all my love and blessings and the um, and best wishes because I think it's beautiful if you can do it if you both can do it remember it's tough then you've got the last card and that is the angel of divine timing and remember You've got 32, so that's five. Something is not in balance at the moment, but perhaps you can make it balance and get the equilibrium in your relationship. But you need to do it with love and purity of heart. And this is where I'm going to say thank you for watching. Take care and be blessed and stay positive. Please share and like. And thank you for being here. I hope to see you in the life. Take care. Bye-bye.